Help could be coming to Baltimore City Schools to try to increase math scores. Just 7% of third through eighth graders last year tested proficient in math. And now a Harvard University trained mathematician has reached out to city schools offering to help. But as Project Baltimore Chris Paps explains, city schools hasn't replied to his emails. Dr. Jonathan Farley knows math. Going back to the dawn of human history, it seems as if people have been have found that math is an important subject. You can't build the pyramids without math. In the 1990s, Farley earned a doctorate in mathematics from the University of Oxford and graduated with honors in mathematics from Harvard University. He's taught mathematics at Vanderbilt and MIT, along with high schools in New York, California, and Massachusetts. Now, he's a professor at Morgan State University and he wants to help Baltimore. It does not have to be that way. There's a shocking number of city schools. Farley was watching in February when Project Baltimore broke the news that 23 Baltimore city schools had zero students who took the state test last year score proficient in math. Following that report, Farley sent this email to four of those schools. He wrote, I can increase the number of students proficient in math next year, and I can show you how to get the funding for the program. Farley sent that email nearly a month ago. He hasn't heard back. What does it tell you that you, a Harvard-educated mathematician, have reached out to some of these schools in Baltimore and you haven't heard back? It's, it's part of the course. But it tells me that most of the educators don't actually care. Um, in fact, what they seem to be more concerned about is just having a high graduation rate, which is, to me, meaningless. The program that Farley offered the schools is a three-pronged approach he's developed over years to better teach young people math. Step one is perhaps the most important. Farley says math requires concentration. His program starts by removing the students who cause distractions. Get rid of the maybe 3% of students who are troublemakers. They can go somewhere else, they can be suspended, they could be expelled even, but then the other students would have a chance to thrive. Step two, drills and repetition. With the problem students gone, Farley begins to train the brain to focus on math. How do we learn? By repetition. Uh, but it's true that you do lots and lots of problems. Step three is to create accelerated programs, allow students to compete against each other for the top spots. I think everybody is going to be raised up if they see some stellar students doing some great work. Farley's program has been instituted in school districts such as Greenberg Central in New York, where the superintendent praised the program, saying, we can all learn something about mathematics from Dr. Farley. His innovative approach to math has earned him distinction internationally. When Project Baltimore broke the news about the 23 schools, North Avenue declined an interview. Instead, the district issued a statement with the steps it's taking to improve math scores. They include professional development for teachers, summer learning, and an extended learning period at the end of the day. The district added that it's confident the strategy will work. Uh, it sounds good on its face, which is of course why they told you that. Project Baltimore wrote North Avenue, asking if they planned to contact Farley to discuss his offer. The program wouldn't cost city schools anything. Farley said he can get the funding from private companies or philanthropists. We received this reply. We appreciate Mr. Farley's offer, although we find WBFF-TV's advocacy of his proposal oddly self-serving given its coverage. If we have further interest, we will contact him directly. In the meantime, if Mr. Farley or any other member of the community would like to review the concrete steps we are taking to increase math proficiency, we encourage them to learn more at BaltimoreCitySchools.org. I actually love math more than uh, people. Farley has devoted his life to studying and teaching mathematics. He offered help to Baltimore City because he knows how important math is, not just for our city or our country, but to the world. Maybe it's too soon. And he's not giving up. Uh, but uh, you know, hope springs eternally. One day soon, maybe city schools will respond to his emails. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore.